Hello everyone, my name is Marcela Godina and this is my presentation on Latinas and Mariachi. Yo también soy mariachi. To start things off, I want to share a little bit about myself. I am originally from the Yakima Valley and I am the daughter of immigrant parents from Zacatecas, Mexico. I am also a first generation college migrant student at Eastern Washington University, currently majoring in sociology with a minor in Chicanx studies. During my first few years at Eastern, I wanted to be in a space where I can be connected to my cultural roots and as well share my passion for music and singing. That's where I found EWU's Mariachi Las Aguilas and became their female lead singer. Through my time with my mariachi, I was very fortunate to perform for my community at Eastern, Spokane, East and Central Washington, and as well have been chosen by my group to attend and perform at the Jose Hernandez Mariachi Nationals Workshop in Los Angeles, California. Being part of mariachi has given me the courage to speak out and serve my Hispanic community, to encourage more Latinas to take on leadership positions and to feel empowered through the music we create and share. Mariachi's birthplace is said to be in Cocula, Jalisco, though the precise origins of the mariachi in its current form are not entirely known but its initial formation as a musical group began in the 1800s. Like many aspects of Mexican society, music in Mexico is a result of syncretism, the melding together of distinct cultures. Native musical traditions, Spanish and African influences are all presented in mariachi. Different instruments like the guitar, violin, trumpet, and harp were introduced by the Spanish, as well as different poetic and rhythmic forms, adding a more European-centered sound to the music. African-derived rhythms are also presented as a result of enslaved Africans who were brought to Mexico by the Spanish. During the Revolution of 1910, it was a time of great change in Mexico. After the Mexican Revolution, there was a large rural population moving into urban cities. The advancement in technology like radio and film was used by the Mexican government to unite all Mexicans through the ideology of mestizaje which is the mariachi we know today. The ideology of mestizaje is the melding of Spanish European race and the indigenous made the Mexican people. This new ethnic and racial identity was fostered by the Mexican elite in their attempts to unite the Mexican people through the decades of poets, artists, actors, and musicians to contribute the creation of this new nationality. Thus made mariachi a symbolic representation of Mexican culture. Looking at this brief history of mariachi, it's shown that like all aspects of culture, it is not static. It has been subject to change just like as musicians, audience members, Mexican government, and women have negotiated and articulate its meaning in different ways. There has been women throughout history who have contributed to mariachi. The downside is their contributions are not as well known, tells us the presence of women in mariachi is not one total inclusion, which has caused tension in how mariachi musicians who want to attack their own agency and the normalization forms of gender representation in mariachi, which dictate what a female mariachi should look and sound like. Mariachi is mainly made up of string instruments, such as violin, guitar, guitarón, vihuela, and harp, along with trumpets and vocals. Women were usually not encouraged to play el guitarón, for it is a very heavy and large instrument and was not very appealing for women to be playing, although later in the presentation we'll see how this idea changed over time as more women enter the mariachi world. The usual style for dressing a mariachi is called a charro suit, or traje de charro. In the early days, rural mariachi is dressed informally, but when in urban env environments, however, with increased employment, opportunities and more formal presentations, uniforms became more common. When mariachis first acquired the purchasing power to uniform, their groups, the apparel they chose the most, often was chato suits. A chato is a traditional horseman from Mexico. Musicians wear this three-piece suit boots, and usually custom broader ties, belts, and buttons. For females, it's usually a full-length skirt, and their outfits are more elaborated to show more of their femininity. 
In order to understand how gender is represented in mariachi music and how women mariachis perform their gender on stage, we must first understand what is meant by gender. Conventional definitions of gender distinguish it from sex on the well-known premise that gender is socially constructed and learned by individuals while sex is biologically determined. Yet there are issues with this premises because it fails to account for the many ways in which the accountable criteria for either category are often interconnected in the sense that sex is an influenced by social structures as gender. Women and men occupy different spaces because of their different socializations. Men occupy the public and women occupy the private or domestic spheres. It is commonly argued that women are usually confined to domestic spheres and musically. This means that most women sing or perform at home for their children or other family members. In contrast, the public sphere of men's world allows them more free time to dedicate to music and more accepted as musical performers defines the private spheres of women as a broad social space which it revolves around domestic activities such as child rearing and responsibilities during important family-centered events. The public sphere involves activities outside of the household with people who are not necessarily family members and men that are typically in leadership positions. This metaphor of separate spheres, however, continues to be less useful when looking at women's, women's and men's musical traditions across cross-culturally. In many different cultural traditions, women are very commonly involved in public musicals performances. The spaces that men and women occupy are much more integrated than they may seem. For female mariachi, musicians and the distinction between public and private spaces is often problematic. The public spaces in which mariachis perform, bars, clubs, restaurants, and public stages are away from the home and not considerable places decent women or good mothers should be. Yet, as more women step into the public sphere, their gender identities become part of their performances. Gender is something we all do every day, all the time during our interactions with other people. We perform gender through a series of social guided actions and interactions, which express to others either our masculinity or femininity. Thus, gender is not something culturally determined. It is an ongoing set of actions and metaphorically images that we are constantly performing. Though men have dominated the mariachi world, I want to share a few artists and groups that I felt have either reshaped or articulated the meaning of being a Latina mariachi performer. First is Chavela Vargas. Chavela Vargas is a great example of someone who has broken many gender norms and created her own persona on stage. She was known in Mexico for singing ranchera style, which was typically male dominated and focused on songs about love and loss. So Javela, just as a man, carried a pistol and sang traditional songs without changing the lyrics. So she was singing love songs to and about women. Mariachi Reina de los Angeles has blazed the trail for female mariachi musicians. In a musical landscape where songs are often written by men from male perspectives, Reina has created its own history. They are America's first all-film mariachi ensemble. They bring sensitivity, beauty, warmth, and vivacious spirits to the historic art of mariachi. Latin Grammy winners Flor de Tolache made New York City history as its first and only all-woman mariachi group. Today, Flor de Tolache members hail from diverse cultural backgrounds such as Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Cuba, Australia, Colombia, Germany, Italy, and the United States. This defines their unique flavor and sound. The results of this cultural bank bouquet is an edgy, versatile, and fresh take on traditional Mexican music. While working to preserve centuries of old traditions of mariachi, their millennage of the traditional and the modern pushes the boundaries of the genre and brings mariachi music to new audiences. Mariachi may have a long tradition of being male. But as years and decades go by, women are taking center stage and reshaping the mariachi world. Though there are areas that are not gendered equal when it comes to how much an all-female group gets paid, which is less than what a male mariachi group gets, it just shows how little women in mariachi are treated. There is a growing acceptance of women being members of, in mariachi groups, but they also face discrimination. Women are not expected to take on mariachi as their whole profession. 
though men are praised for their passion for the music that it's normally accepted, for them to turn their passion to careers. But for women, not so much. They're still expected to be wives, mothers, and caretakers. Yet women continue to break social and gender norms by fighting the machismo mindset of what and how women should portray themselves performing. Again, mariachi may have a long tradition of being male, but as time goes by, doors are opening more and more for Latinas. I hope this presentation gives you a much brighter insight of Latinas in the mariachi world. Thank you for your time.